What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Christian Hannah Har here, and on today's Christian's Cult Classics, we're talking about one of my favorites, House. All right, so House, a 1986 horror film. This is an interesting movie because this is kind of one of those horror movies that people regard as being a good introduction to horror for a younger viewer. And I think I would highly agree with that. But one thing about House is it's still a movie that you can rotate in your heavy rotation horror movies very often because it's got a lot of great replay value. But with House, you know, the story of Roger Cobb is an interesting one because typically you just don't see a lot of horror movies with a male lead, especially with a predominantly male cast. There's not very many women in this besides his ex-wife. And she's not in the movie a whole lot. But something about Roger Cobb and the guy who played him He's very, very likable, and that's really half the battle because you have to care about your main protagonist in a movie, and Roger Cobb is kind of every man. I don't know. I really like how he's just looking for answers. He doesn't want to give up hope for his son. Very relatable, very likable guy. He wants to tell his story. Roger Cobb is a novelist. He's writing books, and he's doing an autograph session for one of his latest books, and his manager is like, you gotta get out into the book. We can't keep doing signings, and he wants to tell his story. This is a small detail about the movie, but something I always liked. Roger wanted to tell his story about his experiences in Vietnam. His manager's like, no, make another horror story. Nobody wants to hear about Vietnam, but I respect the fact that Roger wanted to tell his story. That's a very simple thing in the movie, but I really liked that. I'll keep it short. I'll keep it sweet. House is a very fun little atmospheric horror movie with great music in it. You got Norm from Cheers in here who just absolutely adds nothing but charm to the movie. And it's got some really cool stuff. You know, House, the house in this movie is very creepy. It's a big, scary looking house. And it's just a fun looking movie. It sounds fun. It looks fun. The special effects are great. And it's kind of funny. There's actually some really funny bits in this. It's not to be taken totally seriously, but it's not making fun of itself either. House is a staple in my house. I watch this movie probably once every two to three months. It's just a good, feel-good horror movie, and Big Ben is also a great scary character in this movie as well. So if you haven't seen House, Roger Cobb wants to tell you his story and show you how he's going to find his son again. A great movie. This is the Arrow Video Blu-ray, a great way to watch the movie as well. So if you have not seen House, give it a watch. <laughs>